I am so excited because we're going to start something really cool today. Yeah. We're going to be talking about value, lights, darks, the force. Well, not really the force, but it's always kind of about the force if you think about it. But no, we're going to be talking about light and dark and how to show them on your pictures. And we're gonna turn that into a fun holiday-ish picture that's gonna be really neat. We're gonna do kind of a wintry picture that I think you're gonna like. So, what I wanna, th what I wanna talk about today is adding some shading and shadow to spheres. Now, as you know, a sphere is a round 3D shape. So it's like a circle in 3D. And to make a circle look 3D, you have to do a little magic on it. You gotta do a little extra, because if I were to just draw a circle, it's gonna look like a circle. But I want it to look 3D. I want it to look like a sphere. So to do that, we are gonna add a little value to our picture. So what I want you to think about is when a light is shining on a sphere, you kind of can see this little, you see the shadow kind of moving about it. We're going to have the light coming down on the top corner, which adds a little shadow ring, almost like a crescent moon, to the rest of it. Okay? So if we do that on our drawing, that's what's going to begin to make this look a little more 3D and have a little more depth. So if you saw the shadow, it was almost like this part had a little shading. And I'm doing this right now with a crayon, just to show you can do it with almost anything. But if I very lightly just do like a little ring of shading in the bottom corner, and I get a little darker on my edges by pressing a little harder, and I kind of fade into it, that's kind of how you can add a little fady, shady, shadowing, which will then make your circle look more like a, a sphere. So if you look at this, you see how that looks so much cooler and it kind of has that 3D look. I could even have like a little dark shadow going out from under it like this, and that would be even more 3D looking. So my circle has become a 3D shape, which looks really cool. Now, the reason I did it with a crayon, I know it's weird doing art at home because everybody has different art materials. This next project is gonna look really cool, but I know everybody's at a different place. So this is with a crayon, how you can add that little shading and sphering. Um, some of you were telling me you have really cool art kits at home that have oil pastels. Whoa, this would be the perfect time to get out your oil pastel. Because if you have your circle, if you just draw a circle, and then we get some of the color and the little crescenty thing like I showed you. I'm gonna use this uh, lighter blue. So I started with a dark blue, a lighter blue. I might even get the purple and put a little on the lowest part, okay? And then oil pastels, what's magic about them is you can take your finger and you can kind of smear all this together and blend it up. So I could take my finger and ooze those colors in and really bring them up like this. If you look, I'm holding the paper down so I don't wrinkle my page as I go. But if I kind of go and I smear around like that, then you can see that looks so smooth and cool. It's another way to make kind of that little sphere shape, which looks really awesome. And I could take that and do the shadow just like before, and that would look really red. So that's with oil pastels, that's with crayons. You can do color pencils. Um, what did I do with my color pencils? Ah! Hold on a second. Oh, there they are. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> found them. So I could do the same thing with color pencils. I could take my dark one, I could draw it. Um, I could do some darker edging down here. I could get my lighter color, come up from there, 
get softer and softer as I fade upward. But the same way, as long as I'm being careful to make it as smooth as I can, you can get an excellent look with color pencils as well. So I got my crayon, I got my color pencil, I got my oil pastel, boom, boom, boom. Last but not least, my little beast is um, I have this watercolor tray. Check this out. I could get a color and really get some color in it by rubbing the wet brush on the color to get it nice and dark. I could carefully paint out my circle like so. And then I could paint my little bottom ring. Now so far this is going to look the darkest because it's paint but then I could water down my paint a little more and have more water than paint and bring that ring up. Water it down a little more, bring that ring up. And kind of in the same way, you can make a painty faded sphere like that. So today to prepare for our snow project, I want you to practice working on some shaded circles to 3Dify them and turn them into spheres. Let's see what you can do. Yay!